hello guys welcome back to our channel so today we are here with one interesting super badge which is nothing but a flow error handling super badge unit so let's take up this challenge now and guys this super badge also needs some special developer edition organization to be connected with so as i have already completed that step i'm directly going to launch up this challenge so let's launch our playground now and guys if you have any queries regarding how to connect with our developer edition org the video has been already posted in our channel so do check that i'll provide the link in description so let's go to our challenge now search for flow in quick find here click on flows so guys once you launch the flow you will find flow name called opportunities for main stage analytics so we need to search for that so it is here click on that so here we need to double click on this create opportunity we are going to edit this click on edit element so as mentioned in our challenge we are going to give formula as this so we are going to copy this so guys in this edit screen we are just going to select this close date so after selecting this we need to click on the validate input drop down so here we are going to paste our formula so make sure that you are not pasting your formula in error message uh, text column so here we are going to paste it so paste that formula and click on done so it is asking for error message so we are uh, simply giving it as error so now click on done this error will get fixed so hopefully we have completed our first challenge so let's save this and activate as well so click on save now we are going to activate this click on activate so yeah guys let's go back to our challenge and let's check our first challenge now So yeah guys we have successfully completed our first challenge so let's take up our second challenge now so for this second challenge they have mentioned flow name as concern capture for main stage so let's go back to our flows and we need to select this flow which is concern capture for main stage analytics so click on that and we are now in concern capture for main stage analytics flow let's drag this to the end before that let's uh, switch layout to free form and let's drag this and here i'm just going to add this sub flow so that i'm going to drag and drop this flow over here and for reference flow we are going to search it as flow pro error message so search for that so it is right over here click on that and for label i'm going to give it as flow error oh let's give it as flow alert so i have given it as flow alert and api name is auto populator and now i'm going to include this fault message so click on include so for this fault message we are going to give it as flow followed by fault message so search for fault message and click on that as well now let's include our user email as well here our resource will be user followed by search for email and give email now click on done and guys once it is done we are going to connect create record flow with this sub flow so drag and drop now let's bring our screen here next to sub flow and here for label i'm going to give it as error screen and api name is auto populator it's time to add our display text now click on display text and for this api name will be error display so copy this and paste it over here 
now click on done let's add error message on this screen so double click on that element now let's uh, click on our display text and for this insert a resource we are going to type it as uh, some random text as error click on done let's connect this flow now from subflow to screen now click on save as save followed by activate so click on activate so hopefully our second challenge is all done let's check this challenge now so yeah guys we have successfully completed our second challenge as well so let's take up our third challenge now so for this we are going to search a flow called new con account contact so we need to click on this flow let's change this layout to free form and we are going to add one screen over here let's give error screen as label here so api name is auto populated after doing this we are just going to add one display text over here so let's scroll down on this left side and click on display text and for this display text we are going to copy api name from our challenge itself so copy this which is user error display let's paste it over here and let's give message as error now click on done now let's drag and drop our create records now so for label i'm going to give it as create incident so api name is auto populated now scroll down and give how to set the record field as use separate resource and literal values choose this and for object we are going to give it as error log so click on this error log and scroll down so here we are going to give message c for this value i am going to provide it as error so i am going to type this now click on done and guys it's time to connect our elements now so i have just connected this create records for create contact with create records with create incident which we have just created so this should be a fault and from create record to screen so after connecting this let's go to our auto layout form let's lose this position click on lose position and here i'm just going to add one more element in create incident so click on edit element here we could not able to find for uh, adding any new element so i am going to just click on add element next to create incident here we need to find roll back record so click on that and for label i am going to give it as roll back record itself api name is auto populated after completing this click on done so we are done with this let's go back to our free form layout we need to correct all the connections over here let's delete all the connectivity over here click on that arrow and we need to press our delete button so select this arrow and click delete button let's change this position of element now so i'm going to place this screen over here then let's keep this create incident down and here to here from create record to screen i'm going to connect it so from roll back record to create record connection from create to roll back we are going to connect it twice why because we just need to get fault once you get fault let's delete this first connection so from screen to screen so this should be the flow connectivity let's save this and let's activate this flow now click on activate hopefully we should complete our third challenge now so let's go back to our challenge and click on check challenge 
so yeah guys we have successfully completed this challenge as well so see you all on next video until then bye bye if you find this video useful do subscribe to our channel